Um, but we wanted to come on a little early to let people get on. So we're going to show you what we're working on today. And then at nine o'clock. So we'll if you, you remember, product. Jamie picked up these old ceiling tins in Pennsylvania. They were five bucks. They had like a bunch of wood and stuff framed that was breaking apart. We took that off, kind of got rid of most of the chippy paint. There's still a little bit. This is not what I would advise using this product on the first time, but we always like to pick the world's <laughs> hardest application. <laughs> Try that first. In fact, we already have a prototype on the floor that I literally did 10 minutes ago in a rushed effort. We've been playing so... <laughs> and we already broke all the rules because, you know, we don't ever use it on label. We always do off label. I used a heat gun, it was just let it air dry. I used patina and not paint, but super excited. So we're gonna be doing a ceiling tin and then we're gonna be working on in the next probably few weeks off and on some little projects for my parents' room because they're out of town for the next like six weeks. Yep. And I wanna do headboards that just hang on the wall. And so one of the new products coming out matches my mom's color scheme. So this is gonna be my mom's headboard. So they have twin beds that can be pushed together as a queen, but they adjust and recline and all that. So they're individual right now. So we're going to make them a couple of headboards that go in and this should be really fun. Is it time? Oh, we got two minutes. We got, well, actually that's one minute slow. So, so we, we have, have one, one minute. minute, one minute and we'll show so you, if you are on Facebook, would the you new IOD out? that's, uh, you know, this is a brand new product. This is not in their their lineup already, it's not stamps, it's not molds, it's not transfers. So we're excited to show you. I know some of you guys have seen the sneak peek, so you probably have an idea yeah. of what it is. It does require a little calmness and following the steps. The good news is all the directions are on the back of the product in great detail. So even if you don't write down all the steps while we're doing it, when you buy the product, you'll get all the steps. Mm -hmm. Nine o'clock, let's show them. You guys ready? All right. You ready? So this is the new paint inlay. It comes like a transfer, but it is not a transfer. Emphasis on paint. And it is amazing stuff. Really, really cool. So this is our first one. It's actual paint. Sorry, I don't want to take you out with this. It's okay. But transfers are like a vinyl sticker, right? These, you can actually get wet until you seal them and move the paint. And there's no edge on them at all. And they're applied a little bit differently. They like should have just gone you, live on the website, jamierayvintage.com, yeah, well like well. right now. This is Rose <laughs> Chintz. They come with eight sheets. We're going to go over all the steps here in a minute. Um, and then let's show up. them the other one. There's two different. I don't know where you said it. I couldn't find it. It might be under that door. Screen. Oh, under the door. Nope. Where did it go? I don't know. We had it up here. Are you sure you take it somewhere? Yep, I have no idea where you said it. Is it underneath this one? Possibly, but I don't think it was open. Holy moly. There's a fun blue one somewhere. We just had it. Okay. Jamie's got it over there. No. I oh, don't. not over there? I'm just looking for it. It's not, it it's not under here. I had this on here before. Did you take it somewhere to read the Keep directions? showing them that one and start okay. peeling it and I'll find it. No, I didn't I take it anywhere. Okay. I promise you there's another design coming. So it got so, it got set over here. Okay, we're gonna show you the other day. So that's rose chintz, and this one is indigo floral, which is the one going in my mom's room. I'm gonna be putting that on her headboard because she has a blue and yellow theme, and I think this would be really pretty with what she has going on. So it does line up, and it has a grid system on the backs of these, so that you can line them up, and if you need a big project, you can do that. Um, they've got some sample projects here, curved surfaces, all kinds of flat surfaces, um, different mediums. You got terracotta, wood. This looks like it might be marble. I'm not sure, but we're going to do lots of playing with it. Fabric. And we'll let you know. <laughs> um, so I have, I just texted Caitlin. They should be live. So I asked her to drop the link. Um, I don't know if, because let's see. She's trying to monitor and send a text Donna out. Donna said that she didn't <laughs> see it live. It should have been scheduled. So Zeb, can you tell them how we apply this? So we use, we'll... so the way you apply these, we use liquid patina this it. morning. Um, it's designed for paint, but like we said, we break the rules. We use liquid patina because we wanted to keep the old chippy of these tin tiles, these, uh, these ceiling tins. And then we put it on there. Okay, you got the liquid patina, you put it on wet, you let the inlay dry. Oh, you spritz it too, huh? No. 
you let it dry. Once that okay. dries completely, then you spritz it to release it. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I did this in a super big hurry. I used a heat gun to dry it, which I don't suggest. And so that kind of makes the patina like, like plasticky. So I would let it dry completely all on its own. So when this paper is dry to the touch, then you spritz water on it. Wait, we'll show you in a sec and peel it off. So but I want to show you the detail on that. Like how, even in our hurried effort, how good that looks with no paint, just the liquid patina. Okay, it's true. Same thing we use for decoupage. Oh, um, Caitlin, can you fix the shipping on that one? Because they should be free shipping. All right. Is this one ready to spritz or is it dry enough? Do you know? If you ordered and you got charged shipping, we'll take care of it. Don't, don't you worry about it. Um, no, that's not dry enough. Let's show them how to paint the other one. So yeah. you want to go grab some paint. So we're going to set this over to the side and we will do the peel off here in a second. All right. This one here, the door. Check out this knob, this back plate on this knob. I don't know. Can you see it? I'll zoom in. I'll zoom in on it for you. Or, or just bring it closer. How about that? I feel like I'm a fan girl for this product. I've been so excited about it. That there it is. I can't even talk. <laughs> <laughs> and ours, a lot of the other creators got theirs like way early. We just barely got it in. Last night, wasn't it? Or was well, it two days ago? we had it for a few days, but I think we got it on Monday. Oh, okay. But we've been doing stuff with the church. So we haven't been able to really play with it. So you want to work in small sections. Zeb, can you cut me out Yep. what's going in here? You want to work in small sections because you want your paint to still be wet when you're applying it. So I'm going to go ahead and use DIY White Swan. It's pretty close to what these insets are. If I wanted to, I could just use the liquid patina, um, but it's designed to go into chalk and mineral type paint. So it's going to be one of those things that's important to use the products we're telling you to use or else you might not I get the results liable for the results not happening. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Products do matter on this. So make sure it's a good chalk or mineral based paint. I'm not saying you can only use the paint that we use, but I don't know the results on other paints yet. So, okay. So when you do them, they go face down grid system up. I'm just using my zipper. Do we carry these fans? So brushes? bright, bright colors down. show you that. I feel like we're a little bright this morning. It's er, it's we got good sunshine today. If I'm going to tone it back. If you liquid patina, make sure it's on there thick enough, especially if it's an uneven surface like that ceiling tile. There we go. Right. I like that better. Sorry. Let me show you the detail on these. There we go. That's good. The online picture doesn't do it justice. Once no. we get these products, oh, she only had to refund Donna. Thanks, Caitlin. She's the bomb. It's, we've been Caitlin has been the lady of many projects lately. So this is like one of many things going on. We have lots of fun stuff in the works that we're excited about. Okay, so I'm gonna cut I'm this gonna down here. this grid line here. What happened to our scissors? I just had them. Did I put the, oh, here they are. I, I don't know, these panels are all the same size, are they? Um, I'm, well, I'm gonna do, they, should, they should be. We probably should have cut it first. They should be the same size. So leave size. the backer, here's a few things to remember with these. Leave the backer on the product. Um, keep them in a cool, dry space. Obviously, the way you apply these, you don't want them to get humid and damp. So if you live somewhere where it's super humid, please make sure that you're storing these inside flat in an area that's dry. Um, it's going to be really important, important for the longevity of the product. Each of them come with eight sheets, which is quite a bit. I will be able to do two headboards plus a couple other projects with... I One saw some of the other pack. retailers were planning on doing a whole wall like uh, wallpaper. Oh, wow. I mean, honestly, for the price of hand painted wallpaper, which this is actual paint, it's probably a deal. Yeah. Yes. That hand painted wallpaper is gorgeous. Okay. Is that ready? Do you want to lay this down yeah. in? So Wet paint. In Europe, obviously, I mean, there's other chalk and mineral based paints, just something that's not like. I wouldn't use wall paint, like latex, enamels. You want to like stay that. away from harsh chemicals. So once you lay it down, you're done. You don't want to smear it. So you kind of just want to go. I'm going to lay the back first. So oh. you tack it down and then I'll walk it. Oh, there we go. If you have a friend. Yeah. So there I left go. the corners a little proud That's so fine, we can go up the edge. Off. Yeah, because yeah, you don't want like a weird flat edge and you can always sand So it. no shifting on these or else it'll smear your design. 
Carolyn says, you're live? I'm just making my breakfast. Carolyn, we are showing special um, new products. We're super excited. New IOD. We'll show them again. I'll show the panel up here in a minute. The the. And if I see them all over the place, like you're watching the replay, I just, I get so excited about new products because especially this, because the sisters have worked on this project for three years. I'm pretty sure the first time I got a text from Sally or Joe's, it was like last spring and I've had to keep it. They'd already had it in like development. And shut. <laughs> so this is like Christmas for me. Um, and they are planning on doing more. So just like they have a ton of paint transfers, there are a ton of paint inlays coming and they're actual paint. So they, that's why you have to paint it first because that bonds them to the paint. Then you let it dry and you get it wet so that way you can peel off the backer which is really important. Um, it's kind of like- uh, So they do come with like a wax paper in between because you don't want them touching. Well, I was thinking it's kind of like when you do uh, image transfers with inkjet printers mm -hmm. and you have to adhere it to the surface like we do with liquid patina and then you got to wet the back to pull it off and it literally puts the ink on your surface. Yep. Same concept as an image transfer, only this is a paint in the name. So just- All right, I'm gonna cut different. this one again. Is right. Harrington joining in? Harrington is currently picking up and dropping off trash cans and looking what at his property job in Montana, trying to break his mama's heart. He's not moving there anytime soon. He's actually going to be moving into the cottage at the church. And so he's antsy about that. We thought that we were going to sign on Friday, but we're trying Pick to get up. the seller's payoff. Um, they don't have that yet, so we'll probably be signing next week. So I'm going to be patient. Yeah. So we'll keep keep these little adoption. strips. These could be used for all kinds of fun yeah. little projects. These are more expensive than the transfers. So a transfer, I think, is like $43 for eight sheets, if I remember correctly. And this is $55. does include um, shipping um, on our website. All right. But... Paint that one for me. Okay. Are we ready to pull this off the other tin, or do we want to let dry? it dry more? Okay. So this is the tin. If you're just joining in, because I know we're, this is a uh, unexpected live stream. So that's so the rose chintz. This is the rose chintz, and we did this side. Oops, the other side. Can't reach it. We did this side earlier today, right before the live stream, and we did not paint it. We used liquid patina on this. Uh, because we want to see the old chippy tile paint coming through. So we'll show you how to peel this up in just a minute and that, and how to get that inlay on there. Probably shouldn't set that down on anything. Um, and we will have a full edited video up either tomorrow or Monday. I've been hoarding a dresser um, in the garage for this, but we, we didn't have time to get the edited video up today, which is why we went live. Seth, can you help me get this straight on here? Yes. If my sisters are on here, do you think mom's gonna like this headboard? Here, do you hold, hold, the, hold the back, line that up, and then we'll just roll it. I'm so tired. I can't, I couldn't sleep. I was so excited. Okay, does that look right? Okay, we're on. We're committed. Good, the good news is, you guys, these prints are busy enough that it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't want to move it. So you want it to be down and in the spot because it's paint, so it can get blurry. And as it dries, where, see how it's like dark blue here and light blue here? The paper gets less. Trans, is it translucent? Yes. Less translucent and more opaque. I'm hoping I'm using those. Words. I sound like the adults from Charlie Brown. Is my mic bad? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> They're yelling Zeb Mike. Oh, sorry. No, lots of them are saying it. Is it okay now? Maybe I walked too far away. Zeb, your mic. Yeah, it must have been bad for a long time. Zeb, you are. I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> Is it better now, guys? Sorry. <clears throat> Don't bend your neck and talk. So you have two choices. You can either not wear it by your Adam's apple or wear it on your hat. I'll wear it on my hat. <laughs> we'll go hat. You're such a manly man when you craft that your Adam's apple gets excited about crafting and it makes the mic pop. It, it just moves when I pop talk. <laughs> All right. This one is- Hopefully so that's better and we didn't ruin the whole video. Well, you know, I'm turn the sound off and watch the inlays. <laughs> I'm probably talking. <laughs> which is normal. This one is still not quite dry yet. We can, do you want to try to lightly heat this with a heat gun? We can try cool? so we can show you. Because I did use a heat gun on the other side. Yeah, I'll do it. Do you want to paint that last panel and we'll so get that I'll do cut? i last panel while he does that. 
So probably you're wondering like, what the heck do you do with a giant piece of tin? This is gonna be a headboard, but that, I will have Zeb frame that out and then I'll either hang it on the wall like art or I could put hooks on it for a yeah. coat rack. So I have some more of these door panels because I cut this down. This was like an eight foot size door. So I cut it down and a five panel, right? yeah, five panels. So I have a couple other panels oh, in okay. there you so you can, uh, so I was going to make a coat rack or something with that. I'm keeping the heat gun a long ways away from this. Yeah, I don't recommend what you do. Okay. That's like off loading. Let it just dry heat. when you're not on a live stream. Oh, did you cut the other one for me? I have not yet. All right, I can do it. So I, I just, I just it. line it up right here. I'm taking, if you look, I think I'm taking like three squares off, four squares off, three squares, I think. Yeah. You're way over there, though. Now no one's going to hear Sorry, you. Sorry, I'm gotta, not. You got to take your mic with you. All right. Well, at least you're not popping. <laughs> if you're not going to wear it, you got to take it with you. I'll order some new lav mics that aren't scratchy. Our other ones, for whatever reason, are busted. So. We've been saving all our money for the church, so we've been trying really hard not to spend any money on anything else. Which paint do you recommend for the rose chintz? Lunchbox, lunchbox lady wants to so know. I can tell you. I'll give you a little secret. Tomorrow's dresser. I'm planning on using it on the drawers, and the drawers are going to be farm fresh. Farm fresh. Because I think farm fresh is going to be such a gorgeous background. 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 Um, I also think it'd be super dramatic on like a navy because pink and navy are like gorgeous together. Um, you could use it on white like we are. That's just clear because I wanted the chippy paint to come through. But farm fresh would be really good. That's my suggestion. If you were using milk paint, I would do like Sweetie Jane would be really pretty with it. Yeah. The very Caitlin saying court. petticoat pink would be good. Petticoat pink. I would probably lighten petticoat pink up pretty good so that way they show. Let me up. get you a good close up here. If you wanted to do boho, I would take this. Look um, at the details on those flowers, though. Like, if you were going to hand paint that, it would take you probably hours to get that all right, unless you were just a wizard with a paintbrush. With the indigo, I would do kissing booth and indigo. Would be gorgeous for a boho paint job. Those colors would be good together. Like, I don't do a lot of boho, but I do. I can. I can do it. All right. So this is this is dry. dry. Okay, so now we're now gonna spritz, spritz with water. This I'm is gonna empty. Get away I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm fill to this back dry. up. These take anywhere from ten minutes to one hour to dry on their own. It depends on how fast the paint that you use dries. And if you're in a humid and... area, or okay, just make so I'm not spritzing this it. down. Just pushing it down. It's gonna look all nice and wet again. I did the other side of that, like literally shaking with excitement. So. If I can do it, I promise you can do it. All right. Now, do you let you let this sit for about 30, 30 seconds, seconds, right? Okay. 30 seconds. So, this is my first time, see, guys. Jamie did the other one. I know. I And usually Zeb does things first because I'm nervous, but he was busy cutting, so I had to step up to the plate. Oh, Jasmine Isaacs rejoined channel membership. Hey, Jazz. Do you have questions? Anna Warren says aviary would look good with this, How too. How soon are the other patterns? Well, probably not till next year. Because they're, yeah. they've got, um, I shouldn't say, they've got a couple of more things coming out this year, but these are it as far as paint inlays go. I can tell you that. And if I'm not supposed to tell you that, then we're we'll, out of work. We'll be in trouble. I can, I'll just ask forgiveness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Like now I can read text from Caitlin, except for they were 15 so minutes So Stacy, if you're just joining... This is a ceiling tile that Jamie picked up in Pennsylvania, and we took the trim off of it because it was all broken well, and busted up. Trim. And then did the uh, we already did the inlay. This is the rose, rose chintz, and we used liquid patina instead of paint because I just wanted the chippy original paint underneath to show up. You do need to seal these when they're complete. So when these are dry, I will come back over the entire tin 
with liquid patina because I really want to make sure no paint, I mean, it's old, so you don't really want that paint chip it off. So I'm going to put liquid patina all over it and then I will probably frame it out and put some hooks on it. I don't know. Okay, here we go. I'm going to, I'm going to pull this off. We'll see what we, we have get. to start on one corner and go slow and don't freak out because this one is probably because that's patina and you didn't let it dry all the way. It's probably not going to be as good. Like I was kind of freaking out on that one, but I, the more I did it, the more it looked good. Okay. And I used less patina on this side. So we'll see how that works because that one had a little bit too much. I all asked right. Mara, I don't know if you guys follow Mara. I asked her this morning and she's like, make sure there's enough patina that it has something to stick to. Okay. So we're losing some of the detail on these, but I think it's because we didn't let it dry. Okay. Pull that off. You make me nervous. Oh no, this one's fine over here. Is that one looking good? Yeah. And you also, you also have to realize it's on a chippy surface, so it's okay. Yeah. All right. That's so the paper's ripping there. That's all right. We can grab it. And you can put these down a second time if you're careful lifting them up. Um, yeah, I don't know that you've got this wet enough. Here, well, we can re-wet it. Okay. We so will re-wet. If you are careful pulling these up, you can use them a second time. If there's still a pattern to be had on the back of it, that means there's still paint on the back of it. The next time you use the inlay, you're going to get a fainter look, obviously, each time. But play around with that when you get these because I watched the sisters do that, Sally and Josie, when they sent me like the initial like videos of them doing it. And it's a really cool effect. If you want the best transfer with the prettiest, that's going to be the first use. But the second time you try your inlay, if you're careful with it and don't rip it, All right. <laughs> then you can I'm use it. I'm going to let again. that paper sit for a minute. Okay. Let it absorb down. Um, yeah, I'll hit these. You're Look at the burning. questions. What's the difference between this and tissue paper? Tissue paper would just fall apart. This well, is this actually is a little heavier. Yeah, and so it's also not, paint. We're not decoupaging this on here. This is paint. So when we peel it off, all that remains is paint. So in real life, it literally just looks like hand-painted flowers on there. So Missy Yoder well, asked a question. It looks like a, a bathroom painting question. Jamie, what color goes with aviary? I'm painting the bottom half of my bathroom wall with aviary and not sure what to do with the top half, just white. I would go with a creamier white, so not a stark white. So maybe something um, like tarnished pearl would be good or like a crinoline because the aviary pairs well with a creamier white. That would be my suggestion. The lunchbox lady, she's holding her breath. She's holding your breath. <laughs> it luckily they come with eight sheets. So I can tell you right now, you can get two tickets and maybe a popcorn for the price of eight sheets of these. And these are more fun than going to a movie, at least for me. <laughs> All right. I'm going to try again and see what we get. Oh yeah. That's coming off better. Yeah. So if, cause you, you really want it to release easy. If it's hard to release, then either it wasn't dry enough or you needed more water. Yeah, you don't want it to peel the paint again, off. Liquid patina on a chippy old tin, off-label use. But I always like to like stretch the product the very first time, it's, which is the exact opposite of what you should do. You should follow the you rules. Should, the you should time. practice and follow the rules the very first time. But we don't do that around here. You guys know I us. I reuse that one, though, so. Oh, okay. So don't, yeah, so if don't, so don't rip it. it. Yeah, don't rip it, please. You already ripped it a little bit. Well, I had to get it super wet. <laughs> Try number two. If All at right, first you don't succeed, try, try again. Okay, we lost a whole flower there. <laughs> Maybe there wasn't enough I don't patina. think the liquid patina was enough. You should so have gotten juicy with it. this one I went lighter it. on the liquid patina. The good news is that this will look good no matter what I do because I want it to look like old chippy wallpaper. So. Okay. Okay, so. There we go. All right, we're going to lay this down hard. over here. On this one, I'll show you this side that I did off camera. I had thick liquid patina on it, the way Mara said to do it. But this side, I used less liquid patina because I was like, well, maybe it'll dry faster. And we got more of a chippy finish. I consider that a win because across the board, it's gorgeous and it's a chippy paint tile. So I'm loving it. But now we know if you're using liquid patina, more is the optimum way to go let it dry completely so make sure when you're putting these on that your patina or your paint is wet 
you do not put these on dry paint. So wet paint, then you let it dry, spritz it, wait 30 seconds, then you can peel it back. So Janet asked the question, if you use it again, do you need to do it right away? Like if you use no. the inlay? No. So it dries out and it's, uh, I believe I it's, think you have to, should we try it's it probably again? water soluble, but it needs something to stick to. Like that paint needs to dry and adhere. And then when you get the top wet, that releases the paint um, and it stays on your paint. Can you scoot this over? It releases either? the paint on the inlay and it stays on the paint. Can you grab this, sweetie? And yes. Just get it over. Yep. You're going to do the other one? Yeah. I'm going to just use that one on this and see what happens. Okay. So this is our other ceiling tin. Lots of liquid patina. Do you want to use liquid patina this time or paint? Whatever you want to do. I mean, if you want to keep the chippy. Or... I want to use paint. Okay. I can always like sand it. Yeah. It's still going to have that chippy look. So I'm using more white swan. Okay. We'll see. I gotta, I gotta practice, you guys. I know all the answers to all the questions. I mean, when you use it a second time and you get a, a floral from it, any second time use is a gift. <laughs> so English Charm asks, what are the advantages of using this as opposed to a transfer? So this is gonna look more like hand painted and less like a sticker. This is also gonna allow for you to get it wet after you apply the inlay, once you pull the paper back and blur the image. So if you want the roses to be less crisp and look blurred, you can actually do that because it's paint. Whereas like the transfer, the image is what it is. And if you get really close, it looks like a sticker. Whereas this is gonna have no line around the edge, like no halo. The IOD transfers barely have a halo anyways, because they're awesome, but it's going to work more like a paint because that's what it is. So Les asked, is this like a wall faded or yeah, faded wall paint, like a worn look? Um, um, I think you could get the worn look, but if you're careful and your, your paint's working yeah, with you. Uh, so Jamie's using this one as a second, second go round. I would, do it, I would do it this way so that you can okay. fit it in there with the other one. Um, so this is a second use on this one. I ripped it a little pulling it off. So if you want the faded look, use it a second time. But the first time you use it, if everything's nice. working for you, it should be a pretty nice crisp image when you pull it off. Don't smear it. So you just push it down into your paint. So these paint brushes, uh, Sally asked, Jamie, do you sell the paint brushes? We have all kinds this of paint brushes. Yeah, this is the zebra. This is the, uh, oh, now I spaced it's a, it. This is a... <laughs> Now you spaced it too. Klingon. Klingon brush. This is a Klingon brush. We've got stencil brushes. They're all on the website. If you just uh, search brushes, the whole yeah. menu will pop up. This is actually the exact right width, so I'm glad you had me do that. So Nancy asked, um, can you use this on any surface? Yeah. I I would say yes, as long as it's not super porous. I mean, you got to be able to paint it. So Whatever it is, you have to have paint on there. Obviously, the slicker the surface, probably the harder it is. Like this is like if for your first time trying it out maybe don't use this and i'll and you know what i painted this half and i should have waited lunchbox lady wants to know how much you're going to sell the tins for oh they're probably going to be close to a hundred dollars by the time i'm done because you, you the got the alone, old antique ceiling tin <laughs> the tin alone i would probably sell for like 30 in my shop i am going to frame so them out framed out and with the the inlay on there they're going to be close to 100 bucks so they this is a it's one of those things when you're using things that cost more, you've got to make sure you're paying yourself back. Plus there is some skill involved in it. So yeah. And I, I think that it looks so authentic that it's, you're not going to have a problem. Here, I'll show you again. Cause it's so fun and brand new and people are joining in and out. So this is a ceiling tin. We used liquid patina from DIY on here you want to use something i'm guessing water soluble they recommend not harsh chemicals for these with uh like chalk or mineral based paints um so there's the tin and the reason we did liquid patina on the tin is because it had good chippy paint underneath and we wanted that to come through if you hear the heat gun jamie's over there heating uh she's drying that one out so we can peel it on a live stream normally you would not want to use the heat gun just let it dry re-wet it peel it off we'll do it again on this one if you just join so you can see you, know. you can peel it back so Rashonda, yeah these two these two are the only patterns so far on these um 
but if you know, guys look at look at all the fun donate things. More. <laughs> yeah, if you if they're popular, we'll get a lot more designs. So hold tight for that. Um, so these are the two. Where's the other? Here it is. These are their two current designs, brand new. They don't have any other products like this. So these are the only designs they have in these so far. Nice vintage style prints um, could be used uh, from anything to wallpaper to small home decor to dressers, furniture. We're going to be using it on all kinds of things, just like we do the transfers. But the nice thing about these is that they should be, I honestly think that once you seal these, these might be a little more durable than the transfer yeah. stuff, depending on what you're using it on. Like if you've got like a, a jar or something that you're going to be using as a vase, I think it would be more wipeable because you could seal it and it's it's actual paint. But we will, I mean, we'll we'll let you know. We're gonna we're gonna put these products through their paces and try all the different ways and experiment so you guys can know what they will and won't work on. Cause that's what we do around here. <laughs> So Debbie Nordman, to blur it, what technique would you use? Are you talking like yeah. if you wanted to distress it? If you want to blur the paint, you get it wet and you can move it. Yeah, you can you can move it around if you get it wet again. I think this, like if we were to spray this now, I haven't tested it, so I can't guarantee that that's yeah, worked. But if we it. were to spray this again, it would it would be, I mean, we might even be able to get these colors to run and drip. Yeah, okay, so this one, probably good now. So on the back, with all these instructions, I'll read you what it says about it. It says, if desired, you can use water to blend out or soften the design because the pigment is still movable and active. You can even add additional paint colors. So if you wanted to paint on top of these, you totally could. So what you would do is, I would, if it were me, I would wait till it's dry and then mist it and then start to move the pigment. But so that's going to be... So Mary Casey asks, can you use these outside? I would say absolutely. Just whatever you seal it with, they'll be as durable as that. Yeah. So if you, what I would do is seal it with whatever and then use like a UV sealer, like Pills Clear makes a water-based UV sealer, and then you can use them outside. So, all right, you want to grab that headboard? Yeah, we ready to try to peel this headboard up? I'm going to go throw this out in the sunshine, this other one. Okay. So best practice, don't do like what we're doing now in the live stream. We're just trying to get them dry enough so we can show you the whole process. Um, best practice, let these dry on their own. Like you would just normally let paint dry, then wet them, peel them. I'm going to wait for Jamie to come back. I'll let her wet these. This is going in her mom's room, probably going to be her mom's headboard. So... so the reason we're using salvage is because when I first saw these transfers in my mind, I was thinking of all like the hand painted furniture we saw like you turn your mic. that I've been seeing what we've been watching for the love of kitchens. All right. Are we and ready to spritz? In Europe and they have the most delicious painted stuff. And so this reminded me of like old chippy salvage. All right. Real quick for the steps. If you're just joining and everybody, we all need reminders on this because it's brand new to us too. So we painted this with white swan, DIY's white swan. Oh, yeah. We put the inlay on it. We let it dry. Now we're going to re-wet it with uh, a spritz of water here. Pretty good wetting on there. You want, it, you want it to release from the paper. You let this sit for 30 seconds, and it should stay on the paint that's dry underneath. Oh, push it down. I did that so I, 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 I pushed it. I pushed it on on with my hand. Does yeah. that count? <laughs> you can also use like a silicone blade, like the IOD ones. That's what yeah. I was trying to find. So um, they should be in the top drawer, I think. I totally forgot that step, you guys. She forgot. She forgot her steps, which might be why I was struggling. But you know, we we're here to mess up so that you guys can see. I mean, this is live live TV. If we mess up, you know what not to do, right? Um, Deborah asks, could you use big top instead of liquid patina? I think you probably could, I would not. but Jamie says she wouldn't. Big top is not thick. It's thin and it doesn't have as long of an open time, which means it starts drying quicker. Patina is thicker, which is what you want. 
and it has a longer open time, which gives you time to paint it and put the paint inlay on. So I would not suggest Big Top. It's just too thin. Did you not find the blades? No, but I'm using, look what I'm using. <laughs> the transfer stick? The transfer sticks, but the silicone paint blades are probably better because they won't rip the paper. So if you have the IOD silicone paint blades. We just good. had those out. I know. It's probably somewhere with the Tricoris Iris water mister that I was looking for this morning too. Couldn't find. It's also probably with all the missing socks. <laughs> Maybe. All right. Maybe. All right. This is ready to come off. This is working good. This one's working good. Yeah, this is working good. All right. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna, gonna bring the close. camera in and zoom close so no they pressure. can watch. No pressure. Zoom. No pressure. No pressure. All right. One corner. This this is oh, the way it's man. supposed to work. Yes. Look at that. Okay, so she's gonna be able to use that one really well. Look how much paint is still left on the inlay. Oh, and you can see I we got it probably a little too wet, so it blurred the paint. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Got a little distress down in that bottom corner there. I love it so much. Okay, right. we'll do oh! this one. Hello. Are you dripping? No, I'm just trying not to let it touch itself. It's touching Here, the lay, lay it on this. Just pull, just pull the back. <laughs> don't touch the front side. Careful, don't touch the front. Don't. I didn't touch the front. Okay. All right, lay it down on this plastic that I have right here. I should not. You know I should never be doing things when I'm excited. Okay. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> okay, we'll use that one again. Okay, so so this is what's left of this one. I'll show you guys here. We're super zoomed in there, but I'm gonna get this less wet than you did that one. So you can see there's a little bit of paint on here, um, and a little bit like this one came off a lot, and it brought some paint up with it because it wasn't quite ready. We probably, if we had no. those blades, could have pushed it well, down DIY a little better. Well, paint it is activated with water, so that's gonna happen with it. But he's got puddles of water here, so he sprayed that one a little much, which activated the paint. I don't paint. So I'm, not there. I'm gonna use this. This comes in, if you're new to IOD, um, this comes with the transfer, and we save all of ours. So I have a whole we just recently cleaned out our drawer. So this is the way you're actually supposed to do these. <laughs> Take this a few tries before you get right. Yeah, I don't know where those silicone blades went. I have no idea. <laughs> Can you guys still hear me? Yeah, eight sheets come in every package, um, and they're just slightly larger than these panels. So. All right, go again. Here we go again. This one I did. I love. That's so satisfying. How it's like leaving it on the the. Uh, I know the board. We should do like some ASMR videos of just like peeling it back. Although it's very quiet, so I don't know. Kind of it's, a certain amount it's of fine. It's like a moment of silence so here. So this is what happens when you don't get it too wet when you remove it. The other one we got kind of wet. Well, I was traumatized from the tin. The tin was hard. The tin was hard. This is much easier. And we're going to use this door for a headboard if you're just joining. I want to show them something that I think is really quite important because they were asking about the differences. Hold on. Here, do you want to use the paper, the, okay. the paper backer? Okay. So they're asking about differences between transfers and these. So because I use DIY paint that's heavily textured, I literally have the brush stroke texture in my inlay, which makes it look like something that was pan painted on as opposed to a transfer. So that's definitely a difference there. All right, Kai, so she asked a question. So it is DIY paint and the water activates it to lay down on the wood base. Oh, maybe she was answering a question. Yeah. Okay. So you, you paint it. You yes, Carolyn, her mom's going to love this. Yeah, while the paint is wet, you put the transfer on. Let it dry, and then you get it wet to remove the backer. You think of the paint underneath as the glue that holds the top layer of paint on, and then you got to get it wet to release the paint inlay into that paint. And also, I made this bar go down. We should just take this bar that's under here off. Debbie's loving it. She says, oh, wow, that's over the top. Right? I hope that when people watch the replay that they stick around for this. We fumbled a little bit in the beginning. We'll have a nice edited video. 
Do you want to pull this one off? <laughs> uh, when you do this, though, you guys, if it's really wet, that's where you get kind of the blurs. Kaylin Brown said, uh, IOD has made watching paint dry not only fun, but fabulous. Fabulously fun. <laughs> okay. Lunchbox lady likes your shirt. Oh, thank you. All right, more peeling. Wearing, I happen to be wearing my other shirt, it's slightly larger than this I'm one. I'm going to go just grab like that this. one that's out in the sun. Just like this one, we got the full approval on the church, which I thought was fitting. Trust God. Okay, so you scraped that one. Did you scrape I, this one? Yes, but this one was wetter. Okay, I'm going to lift it up so you guys can see so and try not to hit my mic. If you get it too wet, it makes it run, especially when you scrape it. All right, we'll let that focus up there. Okay, so we might, I think I might flip this. I think I intended it for it to be like this. There we go. They, they go. they go all directions. But now you could do all kinds of stuff with it. You could probably, we're, we're going to continue practicing. We'll have some edited videos out. We'll spray this, see if we can get it to run. We'll also do some distressing. I'm actually not spraying that because I like the way it looks. Well, it already looks like yeah. you've got it's some. It's already running a little. Like this over here, was, it has lines in it. It's so great. This one was less wet than that one. It was a lot of wet. This one was less wet when I sprayed it. And this one was medium wet. Medium wet. Okay. Yeah. Let me go try the one that's outside of the sun. Either way, super good. And this is just an old door, five panel door that we cut down to be a headboard. Yeah, I'm going to have to keep down this one. Is that one not dry? Yeah. Make sure you okay. got to seal them afterwards, just like regular paint. They don't have a built in sealer. If you're just popping in, I'll show you this one again. This is the Rose Chintz paint inlay from IOD. Available now at jamierayvintage.com. <laughs> And are we doing, we're doing free shipping on these? Yes? No? Yeah. All of the DIY products, except for DIY paint, are free shipping. Okay. Would you distress it? Yeah, you could totally. I'm going to distress around the edges. So when we get this done, we're going to trim it out. And we might even put hooks on it. It depends on what we're feeling. Or we might just leave it as art for a wall. Because these old, these old ceiling tins, I mean, they've got their own beauty to them. When the paper is not translucent anymore, that's how you know it's really starting to dry. If you can really see the image through the paper. I feel like you're burning it, though. Dry. I am a little. Don't burn it. It's all right. This is a second try. We've already used this transfer once, so. And I shouldn't have painted that side. I'll have to repaint it when I want to put a transfer on that side. So off-label use. Don't just let your, let your inlays dry. Just let them dry at home. The color of that blue, I would say, is uh, like Oh, it's really French. Yeah, cobalt. Or it's really close to like the French blue that we saw all over yeah, like everybody's. Yeah, the, the number panels on the addresses in France is very close to that. Don't use the heat gun, guys. This is only for live purposes because we're trying not to bore you to death. They're not bored. They love it. They love, <laughs> they love the inlay. Okay. That looks, feels dry, let that cool off, and then we'll get it wet. So if you guys recall, if you've been here, this one has already been used once, and we're trying for a second go around. So make sure if you cool it off, that you lay it flat without letting it touch itself, so that way you could use it again. Julia, yes, this is a headboard for a twin bed. It doesn't look like it's wide enough, but a twin mattress is 39 inches wide, and this is actually 44 inches wide. So it'll be, it'll hang over the edges just a little bit. When you make it with big fluffy pillows and quilts, it'll be fine. The good news is it has a gorgeous plate on the back that I'm going to take off because this has to go against the wall and I use it for something else. Yeah. It's, uh, it's good. I'm not even sure where this door came from. I, mean, I, I don't know. It's very narrow. Out. I think it was a closet. We had it. We were, I think we were going to use it on Eliza's closet, and I used a different door because this one wasn't tall enough. Well, and this I don't think is actually antique. I'm pretty sure this is like from Hobby All right. Lobby. So did you get this dry? Are we ready to spritz this one? Um, so yeah. this one, if you guys are just joining and you missed it, this one here we had already used on that tin. So this is this is inlay number two for this panel. Okay, count my seconds, 30 seconds. I'm trying to spritz evenly and not too heavy. Okay, we let it sit. 
30 seconds. I'd tell Alexa to set a timer, but I unplugged her. <laughs> you don't unplugged her. Paula, yes, it is magic. It is so good. All right. All right, Tina Wynn, would the one on the tin go with apothecary or is the green a uh, different color? Um, I think apothecary would work. You want it to be different enough that it doesn't blend. So you could use apothecary or farm fresh. I'm gonna apothecary farm is going to be a lot more blue than these greens are. Um, these are actually like really nice vintage greens, like like muted. I would say it's sage and Monet's garden, like a light sage and Monet's garden are mm -hmm. this color with some yellow. I think aviary would pair nice with it. Maybe aviary with a little bit of white swan, like maybe uh, maybe um, tone it down like three parts aviary, one part white swan would be a good mix on this. Okay, has that been 30 seconds? Yeah, probably. All right, this is try number two. We'll see how much transfer we get. There's probably more. Did you rub this one down? I did not rub it down. Do you want to rub it down? I feel like I need to now. <laughs> I don't think using like a blade would work on that because it's such a bumpy surface. Yeah, my fingers are working good. It's not wearing the paper backer out. Like, like you know how like when you rub wet paper, it peels up and rolls. Yeah, that That's not good. really happening with this backer. I, I could reuse the first sheet that I used on that one, except for the first time I used it, I wasn't good enough at like peeling it off and I totally mangled the paper. 